that USD has a feature called payloads, which allows you to defer loading of geometry until you actually need it. So I'm going to load up a scene that I previously saved. And you'll notice over here, this button with the mask and the orange circle uh, is already lit. That is the load payloads button. And this saves with your scene file. So if I come over here and I turn on load all payloads in the viewport, I can see I get my pigs. I come back and I turn it off and my payloads vanish again and replaced by bounding boxes. And I can load individual items, uh, individual prims over here by just clicking this checkbox in the L column. This is for loading of payloads. Uh, and I can load the entire hierarchy by clicking, you know, at, uh, at its parent and get all the pigs. Or I can right click on an individual prim over here and say unload payloads, load payloads, and so forth. And so this will let you uh, deal with scenes that are pretty heavy uh, without needing to uh, set up a proxy layer. Uh, we've got proxies turned on here and if I load my payloads, these proxy boxes didn't quite work out the way we'd hoped. Um, but we, we can skip that and just use the payloads instead. So I turn off these proxies, turn off load payloads, there we go. This does require the bounding box information to be saved into the USD file um, ahead of time. The component output node does that. It's, it sets a payload layer and it calculates these bounding boxes at the time that you, you save your SD, your USD. If you're saving yourself, you can use a loft payload info. And this will do that same calculation, calculate the bounding box and save it into the asset uh, so that the payload system will work.